Shanti here and welcome back to another video. Welcome to Shanti's 2 Minute Take where I give you my take on movies, on products and on anything going on on social media right now. This week I'm going to be doing another movie review. I watched Love, Simon on Tuesday and I just, I, I just loved it. So um, before we get started, I just wanted to preface by telling you some of the main actors and also the director. Um, Love, Simon is directed by Greg Berlanti. It stars Nick Robinson, Kynan Longsdale, I really hope I pronounced that correctly, um, Catherine Langford, Josh Duhamel, Jennifer Gardner, the list goes on, and we're just going to jump right into the review. Okay, I'm going to set the timer, two minutes on the clock, and the clock starts in three, two, one. All right. A brief synopsis of the film, um, Love, Simon is basically about Simon Spear, which is played by Nick Robinson, and he is still in the closet. He's gay, but he doesn't want anyone to know, or he's not ready for anyone to know. And this is kind of like his coming-of-age story. He starts an online relationship with this anonymous person named Blue. They email back and forth, and a bunch of crazy stuff transpires. Um, in order for him to keep a secret, he just has to do some things um, and you'll find out what they are and the repercussions of them. Um, what I liked, I loved the music. I think that it was very like teen movie in a not extremely cliche way. Like they had um, Roller Coaster, they had songs from Harry Styles, which I love. Um, I love the representation. They had um, very accepting parents, they had girl power. They had um, a black trans man, and um, they just had, and also they had a gay lead, which is very um, revolutionary for the film industry. Um, I also loved the editing, how it changed when the mood changed. Like sometimes it was like brighter and happier, more aesthetically pleasing, and other times it would kind of shift towards like darker and more like almost lopsided, if you will. Um, what I didn't like, I didn't like that it was. Some parts were very cliche, like some parts were very teen movie, um, that it kind of like made it seem too perfect, which is like taking away from how this is supposed to be like everybody's story or everybody's something to relate to. Um, there are just some parts like some high school parts where like that would never happen, like teachers aren't like that and like vice principals, vice principals aren't like that, so it was just like kind of unrealistic for me. Um, I would definitely go watch this on the big screen just to support more films being made like this. And yeah, time's up! I'm getting better at these, I swear. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely go see it on the big screen because the more you support, the more film industries will recognize that representation really matters and that these films do well so they'll start producing more of them. Um, that is all I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please comment down below if you want me to review anything else. Um, I want to kind of like broaden my film watching horizons, if you will, and just see more good films or if you have any products that you want me to review. Um, I really hope you have an amazing, amazing weekend. This week is finally the beginning of my spring break. So I'm so, so excited to be on spring break and to be able to make more content for you guys. Um, please make sure to subscribe down below if you have not already. We make videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And tomorrow we actually have an interview with my brother coming out, which I'm so excited for you guys to see. And make sure to give this a big thumbs up and just to have an amazing, amazing weekend. I love you guys and I will see you next week. Bye!